your oysters are underwater. Slab right there. This was before the concrete was put in. So yes everyone that's what's happening my dad's away at the doctors now they'll be away a while all right so just found out that, uh, that there are some people outside assembling the shed right now so this means that i have you know another i have other i have other ideas right now oh psycho dad's back well, I need to check inside the box and the mailbox. Quite windy outside. Oh, it's pretty, pretty windy outside. Just going to quickly check inside the thing here. Okay, uh, here we go. Hey. Oh, what'd you grab? A hand trolley. Oh, hand trolley. I see moving stuff into your shed when the shed gets put up. Yeah, well, they're still working on it yes. to this very day. Yep, all right. There's nothing in the mailbox. Just looked nothing in there. <clears throat> I think it's pretty good that that Saga Dad actually has a hand trolley. The only thing is, is that we're gonna have to. Well, it's gonna be rolled down the ramp. That's what we're gonna do. We'll roll it down the ramp along the back here because the stairs are just too much for me. Yeah. Hmm. 
large economy sized truck just went past. Box. Yeah, I'll show you. Go yeah, quick sneak peek at the box. Right. <clears throat> I thought I had a bit more time, but turns out I don't. <laughs> So what we're going to do is a bunch of that stuff that we've got here, a bunch of boxes are going to go in the shed. Alrighty. So now... Look who's here again! It's me! No shed until next Friday, Sam. What? What'd you say? No shed until next Friday. Ah. Oh. Box of screws and stuff that was supposed to come with it that weren't packed. Oh no! And we've got to wait for them to get here and it's five days so it'll be they'll be here thursday and he's coming back on friday to put this shit up okay. okay but at least we've got a slab so progress has been made yes after three long months i shall advise the real estate okay Unbelievable. Yeah. And after, and this has been done after we've been waiting around three months. Unbelievable. And that was after three long whole long whole months later. So when they come here for the inspection, all the junk is still gonna be here. Yeah, sadly. Oh, too bad. Particular particularly this box right here filled with the tools. Nothing I can do about it. Yep, there's nothing that we can do about it because the shed wasn't put up. So we'll just have to say to them, well the shed isn't up because the screws have gone. There's no screws in the box. So tough. They're just going to have to accept the fact that that everything had been delayed. Because the people hadn't put the slab in. And the screws are missing from the box that the shed came in. So, I'm sorry real estate, but tough. Tough. That's my reply to him. Tough. Alright, so... Just... Silence. Oh, I wonder what he's up to. What are you up to? Just get rid of all these messages off my phone, Sam. Oh, messages from whom? Is it from anyone I know? No, it isn't. 575. I have no idea who even, even the hell has that number. And the one from Russell Island? That sounds right. The one that says Russell Island, Queensland must be a Russell Island, must be a Ru Russell Island local or something. Let's see who it is. Good morning, Diamond Special Service. You're around. Uh, uh, sorry, I was just dialed the second number they gave me. Not a, okay, no not, worries. Not a problem. I wonder who that is. I wonder who that person was. That's a surgery. 
Oh, it's the medical clinic. Okay. Yeah, all right. It's just the medical clinic. Nothing to worry about. All right. Well, as long as it's a medical clinic, there's nothing to worry about. Quite quite a bit gloomy outside, everyone. If you wanted to see that, there you go. Now's your chance. Okay. Did he, did he leave you a number or something? Because if he did, then it would be his. There's more here. There's more receipts um, around the back here. And your keys. Where the f did I put his card? God, stuck my brain. Oh, yeah, I put your keys back there too because you left them out there. I wouldn't want anyone stealing the car or anything like that. It was on top of the bin. Right well, how could it not be there? And it's not even there. It's not even down there. What the hey? That's not over there. Is it in you? Is it in there? No, it's not in here. Well, you should. All, you always should inspect your wallet. See if it's in there. No, it's not. It's not. Okay. Well, well, it isn't on top of the freezer here. That's for sure. And it isn't anywhere near the sink here. So it isn't in the kitchen. <clears throat> well, it isn't on this um, table, on this dining table here. And it isn't in this one, because this is just a receipt. Yep, this is an IGA receipt, so it ain't that one. That's medication I am not showing. <laughs> That's his medication prescriptions, which I am not going to be showing to anyone because that's his business, not yours. <clears throat> yeah, all his prescription medication is nothing to do with you, Islanders. That's that's entirely all on him. And it isn't behind the freezer. It isn't beside the freezer. Not there. And it says 11:56 a.m. Oh, hang on a minute, what's this? That's it. That's, that's, that's McClay Island person. Five seven five. That exactly matches the number, so that's... That's, that's his number. Oh. Right. The, the guy from McClay Island, huh? Alright, well at least we know. So it was right on top of that thing over there. Um, just in case you Islanders wanted to know where, where the card ended up, it actually ended up right on top of the container there. And it's actually, this guy's actually from McClay Island, so he actually travelled into Ireland to Russell. Because he doesn't live on Russell, he lives at McClay. Which makes sense, because rent is usually cheaper. Or, you know, like, buying a property on McClay Island is cheaper than it is in the mainland. And so we turn the switch on and it should be charging up. 58%. Oh, wow. So yours is 58%. Mine's 62. So I've got a slightly higher battery charge on mine than what you have. Microsoft. Oh, yeah, that's, that's actually them. The real Microsoft. And there's me. And everybody else. Yeah, we're just too f See, the first, it's the first one on there. 
Go go through go through your contacts. It'll probably be there. T should be there. Ah, uh, there they are. Seventh July, two thousand twenty. I'll let you get acquainted. Oh, excellent! We could be able to. We could be able to. We can actually get the generator out of here. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. So I'll let you. Oh yeah, your pies, exactly. Exactly, pies, that's what he lives off of, basically. So yeah, that generator, we could get that generator out of here. Next, at the end of next week, we'll be able to get the generator out of here and finally move it into the shed, um, which is still making a slab right now. But look at how big these pies are. Look at how big they are. My goodness, they're absolutely massive. See, the, these things are massive. Look at how big they are. Sergeant's pies. Sergeant's meat pies, and look at the size of them. They're absolutely massive. Sydney. Ah, all those years ago. So you used to work for Sergeant's Pies. What was your position at that at that in at that particular workplace? We, we used to be able to eat all the pies that we could eat. Oh, wow! Never worried about taking lunch. Oh, I'll have a pie, nice and hot, straight out of the oven. Yum. Oh, nice. Getting overcast. Yeah, it is. Cause look at look at it. The the um the sunny the sunny day is over. It's now the dark gloomy day. You're birds. Hey, watch your language out here on Island Life. But you birdies, <gasps> you monsters, you monster birds, you guys, you birdies. Look at this! Take a look! Where is the... Where's that slice of bread that you're showing us? I want to see that stuff. I want to show you Islanders this. Where did it go? Oh, there. Look at that! All those birdies took a huge munch out of that slice of bread. That is a lot. That ain't just no little bite either. That's massive. That's a massive bite. My goodness. Oh, I need to. I need to do this. I'm just absolutely. I'm surprised. I'm in shock. How did the birds manage to eat up all of that huge bite out of that piece of bread? In the past hour. Well, at least, but yeah, it's overcast right now. The sunny day is over. It's now the dark, gloomy day ahead. Which apparently has been the thing. Well, it's like Dad's talking to um to a couple of people here that are that are putting the slab down at the moment. So I'm not going to film that because no one to respect that privacy and stuff. I think they've been they've been looking. I think they think that I'm probably suspicious after after they tried to lay down the uh, concrete slab this morning. Um, I'll just check the mailbox again because you know I'm, I obviously lose my memory and forget about stuff. But I'll just check to see if there really is nothing in the mailbox, and then if there isn't, I won't check till tomorrow. Okay, well it's truly empty. Okay, well since it's empty, there's nothing in there, so I may as well head back inside now. <laughs>
And I'm trying to use this one hand recording method here, this new method, which I think is covering up the, um, covering up a bit of the speaker, and I think it's also covering up the microphone too. Um, so I'm sorry if you won't be able to hear it. I'm, I don't know if I could record the top mic on the Oppo A91, but I'm trying my best here. Because I am using an Oppo, um, an Oppo smartphone to record this, so that's that's why you get a, a a variable frame rate video as opposed to a CFR. So I think he's just going to watch over them for now, and I am trying to just get this episode recorded so I can work on the other episodes that I have to work on because I have so much to work on. See you all later. So now. The area around here is quite dark. It's quite dark outside. So that's so that's work done for the day. So that's work done today. It's going to remain that way for the next week. Thanks all for watching this episode of Island Life. It has been really nice to show you guys this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.